Hey there guys, how's it going? And welcome to another video in my Gold Gun series that I'm running here on my channel. Uh, now for those of you that have missed uh, any of my Gold Gun videos, we've got through quite a lot now. I've done sniper rifles, I've done an LMG, um, and I've done most of the shotguns. But this is the first video where I'm doing a submachine gun. And I was a little bit apprehensive about doing this because the whole idea of my Gold Gun series is I'm trying to show you guys uh, guns in gold camo that you wouldn't have seen people use a lot. Because, you know, it's nice to see something a little different in a course. Duty video. Um, so we've used some really unpopular weapons. I mean, the Dragonov was the last one. That was horrendous. Uh, but I asked for you guys to vote on what gun you'd like to see next, and the PM9 got a lot of votes. Um, it's kind of weird, actually, because for the first, like, I'd say day that the video was up, pretty much everyone voted PM9. And then for the rest of the time, a lot of people voted other guns. So I'm going to go through some other guns as well. And of course, uh, feel free to comment saying which gold gun you'd like to see me get next. Uh, but this is the PM9. Uh, let's talk about this gun. Is it any good? Uh, how would I recommend using it? Um, overall, for a quick rating, I'd give this gun 7 beasts out of 10. Um, it's decent. I mean, it's an automatic gun. Um, it's going to be decent compared to what I'm used to using. I've been using using single shot uh, snipers, I've been using single shot assault rifles and submachine um, and shotguns even so um, it's decent but it is a bad gun I'd say in terms of uh, comparison to the other guns in the game it's definitely one of these guns where you think why would you use this and not say the UMP why would you use this and not the PP90 um, if your game style is aggressive rushing which is pretty much what this gun's made for then there's no reason to use the P uh, to not use the PP90 uh, instead of this it really is a hit marker machine um, I found I was using it with a silencer a lot of the time uh, mainly because you need to get close with this gun um, in case you hadn't noticed it's basically basically like a mini Uzi. Um, it plays exactly the same. It's actually a Japanese version of a mini Uzi. Some slight modifications. I'm not sure technically what the, specific, um, the modifications are because I don't really know that much about guns. But it behaves like any mini Uzi uh, that's been in any Call of Duty. Uh, especially like the one in Modern Warfare 2 as you'd expect it to. Um, so if you've not really used the mini Uzis before I wouldn't really recommend it. There's no real point in using the uh, Mini Uzi other than for a change. It does make a nice change to use a different uh, weapon, I have to say that. Um, so here you can see I'm playing free for all. I couldn't really get to grips with what game mode was best to use this gun with. I think, it, to be honest with you guys, um, my Call of Duty skills felt a little bit off the last couple of days. Maybe I'm just, um, I've just got too high a standards for myself, but I was, I was kind of struggling to uh, do really well. So I was trying out all different types of game modes. Um, by the way, if you guys actually want to come and play Modern Warfare through, uh, 3 with me. I'm playing it quite a lot still and I, I see myself doing so in the future. Um, if you just follow me on Twitter which is at J-A-Y-E-X-2-3 uh, then I announce on there I'd say almost every day or whenever I play I'm always saying you know, if any subscribers want to come play send me an invite on Xbox and I will be getting this game for PS3 this week as well so um, I'll be playing with PS3 guys and uh, probably doing some open lobbies and stuff because I think it's... Um, it's a lot more fun now to do open lobbies. The first few weeks, everyone's just like, oh, you know, let's play, let's play, let's play, rank up, rank up. And now it kind of gets that time where, you know, people have ranked up, they've seen what the game's about, and, you know, it's time to have a bit of fun in private matches and that kind of thing. So, anyway, back to the guns. Talk about the important stuff. Um, the perks I was using, um, I've because I've done a few videos where I'm actually using guns uh, where they, they suit a rushing kind of game style, um, it, it's a similar kind of approach with this gun. You want to be getting close to the enemy. Um, if you're far away, you're going to have a really, really horrible time time um it's a low damage weapon uh, but high fire rate um, and so from distance that is really is hard work you might get them in two or three shots when it's close range but further away and they're just gonna keep keep sponging so you need to be running around a lot extreme conditioning is decent um, I've got steady aim on here as like one of the best perks to use however um, I went around for a lot of these videos without Steady Aim because Steady Aim is unlocked um, until a lot further on. So these perks, um, if you didn't have Steady Aim, I'd probably go for Sit Rep because obviously you're going to be running into buildings, rushing, and you're, it's going to be really useful if you can see like a Bouncing Betty, a Claymore on the door. Or a trophy system or whatever so I'd say either steady aim or sit rep suits a rushing class blast shield um, sometimes I'd say hardline but I don't know why I didn't really choose hardline uh, but I think blast shield is important because you're going to be trying to run into groups of people and obviously hard, blast shield pros gonna stop you from be getting stunned um, as well as grenaded so 
Uh, it's a pretty useful perk. And Blind Eye, I just, I really kind of uh, got to like Blind Eye. Sleight of Hand isn't a bad choice because for some reason, because it takes so many bullets to kill people, uh, I tended to find I needed to reload more often than, than I would have liked. So <laughs> you see me actually, I edited that bit out there. It's because I waited for ages for this guy to spawn. He literally did not spawn for ages, but eventually there he goes. He spawns and I got the kill. Um, yeah, Blind Eye is useful. I'd say maybe Blind Eye or Sleight of Hand with this gun. Um, secondaries, I always run a Stinger, and I even did with this on uh, with this gun. I know that might seem strange. Uh, I think here, I'm pro I might be using Extended Mags here. This is my other attachment of choice. If I didn't go for a Silencer, I'd go for Extended Mags, uh, or maybe both. Um, I found it really useful when coming up against groups of enemies, and like I've said in previous videos where I've been using a gun where I rush, it's very useful to have uh, a, an Extended Magazine. Uh, when you come up against multiple enemies because you're going to be close to them if you're rushing and you're trying to flank them like you can see if you look on the mini map here you can see I'm not near my team I'm actually in and around their spawn and so there's going to be several times where I'm going to come up against more than one and having the ability uh, to not need to reload while in the middle of a gunfight is going to be useful see I get this guy here yeah, I think this was actually my best streak that I got with the gun. Um, I, it's really annoying me now, actually. I know it's kind of um, a side issue and it's not really to do with the Mini Uzi. Not the Mini Uzi, even calling it the Mini Uzi, the PM9. Um, I still haven't got a Moab in this game. And I, I, I accept that for the last four Prestiges, I've been running around with the USAS-12, uh, the Model 18, the Dragonov, uh, the Striker, the AA-12. And you're, un you're unlikely to get uh, Moabs in that game. I do believe uh, Xcal got a Moab with the A12. So to be fair I'm like well okay I haven't got a Maya but I have been using probably the worst guns in the game for the last five prestigious so that's unlikely but now I'd kind of like to get to Moab they're kind of getting to me now anyway I'd like to hear what you guys think I should get for a gold gun next um, possibilities are maybe the KSG gold um, I'd like to get something you guys wouldn't have seen much AK-47 gold perhaps haven't seen many of them um, and that'd actually be a fun gun for me to use maybe the FAD um, you don't see many of those golds um, and it'd be cool for me to give you some opinions on a gun that's not rushing because the two types of guns I've done so far are number one long-range weapons where you need to stay keep your distance and number two uh, weapons where you're actually really close up and it's more of a rushing class that'd be interesting for me to tell you uh, guys how, how I think you should best approach a gun which is kind of all-round and versatile anyway hope you enjoyed the video if you want to watch more of my Modern Warfare 3 videos of course there are links on the screen now uh, to other gold gun videos that I've done hope you enjoyed them you can actually click on the top of this video where it says MW3 online you'll get to see all my recent MW3 videos and something to keep in mind for future videos and all that of course be sure to like and favorite if you enjoyed the video it really helps me out it only takes a second and yeah see you guys soon